Hello everyone and hope you're doing well. Today we are going to start with our first physics session, electricity. I'm going to teach, teach you physics through a very interesting videos. So if you have any questions or need any further help, please don't hesitate to contact me through WhatsApp. The student today should be able to know the laws of series conduction. We have a dry cell, which means a battery is conducted in series to lamp one and lamp two. In series means that they are connected beside each other. So the dry cell is connected in series to lamp L1 and lamp L2. First, current. Current in series conduction is the same. So we say that because L1 and L2 are in series, so we apply the law of uniqueness of current, which means that the current is the same passing through L1 and L2. So IPM, the current across the battery, is, is the same for a lamp I1 and for lamp 2. And as you can see here, that the current is passing through the same, it passes through L1 and the same passes through L2. L2. Second, voltage. Voltage and series conduction are not the same. They are additive. So we say that L1 and L2 are in series. So we apply the law of addition of voltage. So UPN, U of the dry cell, equal to U1 plus U2. So I'll repeat. The current in series conduction is the same. IPN equal to I1 equal to I2. Whereas the voltage is not the same. UPN, it is additive. UPN, the voltage of the main source, is equal to U1 plus U2. Let's take some example. Example one, I have two lamps that are connected in series with respect to the dry cell. If IPN, the current across the dry cell, equal to two ampere. Calculate I1 and I2. I said before that the current in series conduction is the same. So IPN has the same current with I1 and I2. So we say L1 and L2 are in series. As you can see, they are in series. So we should mention the law, law of uniqueness of current. This is very important. IPN equal I1 equal I2 equal two ampere. Here, this is 2 ampere, this is 2 ampere, and this is also 2 ampere. If UPN equal 10 volt, U1 equal 6 volt, calculate U2. They are in series. The voltage is not the same. The voltage is additive. We should mention the law, law of addition of voltage, UPN equal to U1 plus U2. So UPN equal 15, U1 equal to 6, so we are left with 4 volt for U2. Example 2. Here we have three lamps connected in series and an ammeter. Example 2. We have three lamps that are connected in series with an ammeter with respect to a dry cell and a closed circuit. Close switch. We know that the ammeter reads the current. So if the ammeter reads 8 ampere, calculate I1, I2, and I3. We need to calculate the current across lamp 1, lamp 2, and lamp 3. I'll give you some time to think about it. Don't forget to mention the rule. Okay, so since L1, L2, and L3 are in series, as you can see, they are beside each other, we apply the law of uniqueness of current. So IPN equal to I1, equal to I2, equal to I3, equal to 8 ampere. Now, if UPN, U across the dry cell, is 30 volt, U1 equal 10 volt, U2. 8 volt, calculate U3, calculate the voltage across L3.
Again, L1, L2, and L3 are in series. They are beside each other. So apply the law of addition of voltage. Up and equal U1 plus U2 plus U3. So 30 equal 10 plus 8 plus U3. 10 plus 8 equal 18. So U3 is left with 12 volt. Now, now let's move to the homework. The homework uh, is three lamps that are connected in series. It's very easy, so please uh, so solve it and send it back to me.